I'm a radiation oncologist here at California Pacific Medical Center. I'm the chair of the department and I work extensively with breast cancer patients. I've been using the Biosorb for the past year. Biosorb is immensely helpful for the treatment planning because it's a three-dimensional marker. The breast surgeon will place it in the lumpectomy cavity. It allows us to target the radiation to exactly where we want it. This 3D marker has had a, uh, a major impact in, in the sense that it allows us to shrink the, the cavity size uh, that we need to define for the radiation therapy and by doing so we're able to target the lumpectomy site, hence the, the, the tumor site itself, but also shrink the amount of radiation to the, uh, to the surrounding uh, lung, the heart, and uh, normal breast tissue. Prior to Biosorb, we would have to either define the uh, cavity using the CT images. Sometimes there would be uh, markers in the lumpectomy cavity, but because they weren't in three dimensions, the, the markers would move around. So what we had to do would be to create larger margins to account for the variability of the markers. And now having the Biosorb, we're able to shrink those margins and at the same time more accurately define exactly where the cavity is. Patients with uh, oncoplastic reconstructions are trickier uh, to deal with from a radiation oncology perspective because their tissues have been realigned or rearranged and trying to identify the lumpectomy cavity can be very challenging. Having the biosorb in place allows us to uh, easily identify the, the exact location and also limit the radiation to where it actually needs to go. By using the Biosorb, the image quality is so high because of the marker clarity. We don't have to image as often as frequently, and, and the patients don't have to be on the table as long. So it does help them in terms of the, tr the treatment time and the treatment speed. This is a patient uh, who's had the Biosorb implanted. You can see the Biosorb uh, has markers at the periphery and then a central one. So here's the central one there on the CT scan, and here's the central one on the Biosorb and these, these are the spokes on the outside. So you can see that it's essentially sitting inside the cavity. And as I scroll through the screen, you can see the end of the biosorbs here, and I'm going up to the top of the patient, and the end of the biosorbs on this end. So it nicely defines, the red defines where the biosorb is marking the edge of the cavity. If I don't have that, I would have put the cavity at the green line uh, on the outer side. If you do the, the calculations, this red volume in three dimensions is about 40% smaller than the green volume. So for this patient, this would mean 40% less radiation to the boost area that we have to treat her with. If you were to look at the patient without a biosorb, what we would normally do is we'd have a, a marker on the surface, this little white area here. That's the, that's the scar line. And uh, you can see that the scar line actually is quite far away from where the actual lumpectomy cavity is right here. It actually is quite lower, and so it's deceiving. So in some, hand, in some cases, it would be hard to define where the cavity is, and uh, in some other cases, you might actually define the wrong area. So this helps us define exactly where it is and also um, diminish the amount of radiation we need to deliver to that area.